Good day, my scholars. You are welcome to my school channel, and my name is Abiola. Remember, in this channel, we are solving the questions for the subject chemistry and the year 2016, the particular type of exam, JAM CBT exam. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us because we'll be right back. Welcome back to my school channel and you should know in this video clip we are solving the questions 21 to 35. Join me as we solve question 21. Which of the following compounds is used as a gaseous flow? Okay, looking through all of the options provided us, we we'll see option C that is butane, an arcane group. Okay, we have um one, two, three, four, four carbon chain that is um C4. Okay, we have three plus two that is five, plus this that is seven, plus this that is ten. So C for each ten that is for butane. Okay, so butane is used as a fuel gas, it's used as a refrigerant, it's also used as a cigarette lighter and mist. Um, so many other uses that we can relate with. So, going back to the question given us, which of the following compounds is used as a gaseous fuel? Butane in option C is the correct answer. Question 22. The products formed when primary alkanols are oxidized using acidified potassium tetrazomanganate 7 or using um, acidified potassium heptaozodichromate 6. Okay, what you are going to get is um, propanol and water. Okay, so if it is secondary alkanol, you'll be talking about getting propanol. Okay, so remember that tertiary alkanols cannot be oxidized because of the three alkyl group. They won't allow the oxidizing agent to work or to function. So what you will have is propanol and water. So the correct option is option A. The products formed are propanol and water. Question 23. Alkanols have the general molecular formula of CnH2n plus 1OH, an alkyl group and the hydroxy group. Okay, so the correct option is option D. Um, you can look at option A, that is for alkyne, A-L-K-Y-N-E. Option B, that is for aldehydes or Arcanals. So let's go back to the question given us. Arcanals have the general molecular formula as um, CnH2n plus 1OH, option D. Question 24. Which of the following is not an alkali? Okay, first alkali are basic hydroxide which are soluble in water. So, if you see option A and option B, they are weak alkalis. Okay, option C is a very good example of strong alkali. Another strong alkali is potassium hydroxide. So, looking at option D, aluminum hydroxide, this is an amphoteric um, oxide. Okay, it acts as an acid, it acts as a base or an alkali as you want to put it. So, it's amphoteric in nature. So, depending on where it finds itself, it blends in. Sometimes you find it neutralizing an acid doing the same thing for a base. So, the correct option to the question given us is, which of the following is not an alkali? Ad aluminum hydroxide, option D, is not an alkali. It is amphoteric in nature. Kindly click on the link in the description below. It will take you to the My School website where you have a very straightforward provision on how you can get the my school mobile app or download the my school software for just a token of 1000 naira so right now we are tackling question 25 which of the following statements is correct about the periodic table okay so let's look at statement a elements in the same group have the same number of electron shell this is incorrect elements in the same group they have the same number of valence electron let's look at group one for instance you have um, sodium 281 you have potassium 2881 okay you can see there's always um one valence electron in their atomic shell okay so statement a is incorrect statement b the non-metallic properties of the element tend to decrease across each period this is also incorrect we have a statement c elements in the same period have the same number of valence electron 
this is incorrect element in the same period have the same number of shell okay so this is for group this is a description for group not for period okay this is a description for period not for group so let's look at statement d the valence electrons of the elements increase progressively across the period across the period is from left to right so for instance if we pick on um, period three all right so let's see the elements that are available in period three we have um sodium that is 281 then followed by magnesium 282 followed by aluminium 283 followed by silicon 284 okay so you can see that um, across the period the valence electron increases from left to right so statement d is very correct the valence electrons of the elements increase progressively across the period so we believe this content is very helpful to you all you just have to do is to always hit on the like button click on the subscribe button and tap on bell notification so you can get informed as soon as we upload the next video Question 26. The metal whose ore can be concentrated by passing it through a magnetic separator is what? Okay, you should know that um, for zinc ore, you talk about throat flotation. For thin, we talk about washing away. Uh, for copper, that is where we use magnetic separator. So the correct option is option C. Cu for copper. Question 27. An example of an acidic oxide is what? Okay, um, NO, nitrogen, the nitrogen oxide, and um, CO, those are neutral oxide. Um, this gives you an alkaline solution. So, looking at option C, sulfur so 4-oxide, okay, at first we should know that it is an acid anhydride of sulfurous acid, that is H2SO3. Okay, you know, acid and anhydride, they are formed when you remove water molecule from a particular acid. So the correct option here is option C. So for four oxide, SO2 is an example of acidic oxide. Question 28. What volume of 0.5 mole H2SO4 okay, will exactly neutralize 20 cm cube of 0.1 molar concentration, that is molar concentration of sodium hydroxide? solution okay so the first thing we have to do we have to um, produce an equation for the reaction and it has to be balanced the equation we are seeing here is still not balanced okay so uh, we can see from the reactant side we have um, one mole of sodium atom while here we have two atoms of sodium so we can see that this is not yet balanced okay so how do we balance this Let's have one mole, let's have two moles, okay? So now let's see if it is balanced. We have um, one mole of um, hydrogen, okay? We have um, two atoms here in hall. We have two moles of hydrogen, that is four atoms in hall. Then we are looking at the product side. We have just two atoms, so we have to balance it. That means we have four atoms of hydrogen on the product side, four atoms of hydrogen on the reactant side. We have SO4. We have SO4, okay? Um, we have um, OH, we have, we already dealt with hydrogen, so we are looking at oxygen. We have two moles of oxygen here, okay? That tells you two atoms. Then on this side again, we have two moles of oxygen, that still tells you two atoms. So we can see that um, the equation is balanced. So we can say that um, the mole ratio, okay? Number of moles of acid that reacted is one. Number of moles of base that reacted is two. So remember the formula for molar concentration, that is CAVA over CBVB equals NA over NB. All right, so we are asked to find the volume of the acid that will neutralize um, that base. Okay, so that means we are looking for VA. Therefore, VA equals, all right, when we cross multiply, we'll have on this side CB. VBNA over, you know, when we move this to this side, that means we are having CAVANB. So we are dividing both sides by CANB. Okay, so for the base, concentration of the base is given as 0 0.1. All right, then volume of the base, we've gotten it 
we are given from the question the volume of the base is given as 20 cm cube all right then the number of moles of acid that is one concentration of the acid we are giving as 0 0.5 okay number of moles of base are reacted we have two so this year one this year five all right two year one two year ten five year one five year two so the volume of the acid required is centimeter cube or you can just have two centimeter cube whatever value we are just looking at two okay so let's go back to the options given us so we can see option a 2.0 centimeter cube is the correct answer question 29 diamond cannot be used to, to do what okay at first we should have some background knowledge about what are called allotropes okay um, talking about allotropes of carbon uh, you talk about the, the ability of one particular substance okay to exist in various form in their physical state so um, diamond and graphite they are allotropes okay of crystalline carbon and um, diamond is the purest form of it okay it is octahedra in shape it is the hardest substance known okay so um, looking at diamond diamond cannot be used to do what okay diamond can first be used as an abrasive okay for sharpening tools it can be used in cutting glass and metals because of the, of its um hardness it can be used as dyes for drawing wires that is very correct um, it is not used in making bicycles chain rather it is graphite that is being used okay so the correct option is option a diamond cannot be used in making bicycle chains don't forget that the link in the description below will take you to the my school website where you can ask your questions right now and asking those questions means you are having a platform to interact with our several solution providers waiting for you to ask your questions so you can get the answers you need in the simplest and easiest form possible okay so right now we're tackling question 30 ethanol is soluble in water due to the presence of a word of its um, hydroxy group okay this makes it soluble in all its proportions so the correct option here is option b perhaps you have better steps explanations or suggestions concerning any of the questions we have solved so far please would like to know what you just have to do for us use the comment section below indicate that question number and the explanation you like to share Question 31. The number of electronic shells contained in an atom with electron configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2 is what? So at first, let's add up the numbers that we are seeing as superscript. We have up 2 plus 2, that is 4, plus 6, that is 10. Okay? Plus 2, 12. Plus 6, 18. Plus 2, that is 20. So you ask yourself what element on the periodic table in the arrangement okay has the atomic number of 20 that element is calcium so you should know that um for the s orbital the s um these things can only contain um two electrons okay the p orbital six electrons just like that so the arrangement now will be two eight eight two okay the first shell will contain two electrons, the next shell will contain eight electrons, the next eight electrons, and the last one, two electrons in the outermost shell to tell you two valence electrons, okay? So you can see that the number of shells we have is 2882, eight, two, making four shells in total. 2 plus 8, that is 10. 10 plus 8, that is 18. Plus 2, that is 20. So we can see that the number of shell for this element with the configuration of this is 4. Option C is super correct. Number 32. The drying agent suitable for drying ammonia is what? It is actually calcium oxide. The reason that we can use the usual drying agent like calcium chloride or concave to so far is because they are going to react with this gas. So um, calcium oxide is basic in nature, so that is um, safe. And this kind of um, drying takes place in either the drying tower 
or inside um, the U-tube, okay? So the drying agent suitable for drying ammonia is calcium oxide quicklime. So option B is the correct option. Question 33. The arrangement of particles in crystal lattices can be studied using what? So we are talking about crystallography, okay? So what they use is X-ray. Um, some reasons are X-rays, they have um, small wavelengths or smaller wavelengths compared to the wavelengths of light, okay? And they have higher energy compared to light rays. So they are able to penetrate this matter and um, you can then assess the structure of such um, crystals, okay? I'm talking about beta ray and um, gamma ray. Gamma ray specifically, they are used to sterilize equipment. Um, beta ray and gamma ray, they are used to check for um to check for the the size the thickness of certain sheet materials okay so going back to the options um provided us and the question giving us the arrangement of particles in crystal lattice that is crystallography can be studied using what x-rays option a question 34 in the extraction of iron the waste gas mixtures from the Furnace is a mixture of what? Okay, they are talking about the waste gas mixture. During the extraction of iron, they are actually nitrogen, carbon two oxide, and carbon four oxide. So the correct option here is option C: nitrogen, carbon two oxide, and carbon four oxide. Option C is very correct. Number thirty-five. In a neutralization reaction involving HCl hydrogen chloride and um, sodium hydroxide using litmus as indicator. The color at the end point is what? Okay, the color at the end point is purple. All right, so we know that um, this neutralization reaction it gives you salt and water only. And when the salt NaCl, when it gets dissolved in water, it hydrolyzes to give you equal amount of hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion to give you a neutral aqueous solution so the litmus um, using um, litmus indica as indicator the color change at the end point is option d for purple we've come to the end of this segment but there are more video clips to come on the subject for the year 2016 chemistry so don't forget that you have to hit the like button click on the subscribe button and tap on bell notifications so you can get informed as soon as we upload the next videos